Howdy everybody in YouTube land. This is the next installment of the Macintosh TV restoration series where we are focusing on the tuner. So the person who owned the machine previous to me getting it sent me the tuner module that went to this particular machine. So what I've noticed right away is all of the caps have already been removed. So, and there's a lot of residue on this board. So I got to clean this mess up. Um, so the, the caps there are, are missing. There's two that go over here, one here, and then there's a bunch of them that go on this board. So I had to ask around online to get reference photos of what was on here. So I knew which parts went where. So I have that now. Um, on top of that, when I was checking on the back side, we're missing a component that goes here. That... I believe is a ceramic resonator or crystal. Uh, I only have one reference photo online which shows a blue device with two leads going here, which is a ceramic resonator. So what I've done is I bought a ceramic resonator here, which is a surface mount guy. That I'll see if that fits. So I have that, which is a 12 megahertz ceramic resonator, but I also bought a regular 12 megahertz crystal so those i'll try out i'll figure out i'll put the resonator on first and see what it does to make sure i have uh, a tv signal we'll see then i have this uh let's see what is this a 4.7 35 which i believe are the ones that go on this board there and then i have Let's see, uh, 470 nanofarad, which is a 0.47, which I think there's only one or two used here. But anyways, the other thing I need to do too is I didn't order these parts because I didn't know yet, but there are capacitors in this tuner module. So I need to take this tuner module apart and see what's in there. So let's do that next. All right, after fighting with these fittings, thank God for that tool, uh, I got the shield off. And you got to be careful when getting that shield off on the, at least this part of the shield because there's components in the way. So you have to pop it off and carefully slide it out to get it out of the way. Otherwise, you're going to break off everything in front of it. So you have to be super careful. Anyway, so now that I got the shield off, we can see we have five capacitors in here that we need to take a look at. Are they leaking yet or, or anything? I don't know. But they're in there, so let's see. I can't tell. It doesn't look like it. Let's see, what value are they? Um, I don't know. Might have to actually get my head in there. It is a 100 UF at 16 volt, which I have those. That is a, what is this one? Uh, 0.47 at 50. I think I have those. I bought a bunch of them. Let's see, hold on, did I? Yeah, right here. I got ceramic ones I can use. 4.7 at 25, I have those. So I have both of these. I have that one. What is the one over here? Point four seven, so I need two point four sevens. I need a four point seven, but I have all three of those. I have that one. What is this one? Point four seven. So I need three point four sevens. So that's a point four seven, point four seven, point four seven. That's a four point seven. Confusing as hell. And then there's a, a one hundred. So yeah, one, two, three, and then one, and one. And it's the same type of caps that are used over here, so that's not surprising. I can, are they bad? Maybe, maybe not. It's who knows. They're probably not bad. They're probably fine. But if I'm going this far and fighting with this tuner, I might as well change them. So we're going to change those. I got to clean up all this mess that's on the tuner uh, module here and all of that fun stuff. So let's get all of that done. I just noticed as I was cleaning the board, 
um, there's a resistor missing. So I, and there's one over here too. So I went online and did some reference photos. This one's supposed to be not there, but that one's supposed to be a 3.9K. Now, I don't have a 3.9K surface mount on hand. I don't hardly keep any surface mount resistors on hand. So I'm just going to go through my small resistor bag. And luckily, according to this chart, I should have five of them, 3.9K, assuming I didn't use them already. So I should be able to attach in a 3.9K right here and then get it all in there. So let's go ahead and start. I'll do these last, but I will um, do the surface mount one first. And then that one broke loose on me, just barely hanging on, so I'm probably just gonna run a patch wire. It's not perfect, but that'll do. I have all the caps replaced over here. I used ceramic. This is a signal board, so I don't know how ceramic is gonna handle just yet. We're gonna find out. And I got that resistor kind of just tacked in there for now. I don't have a surface mount one, but at this point, I don't care. I just want to know that if it works or not. So there's the cap over here. The only thing left now really is putting the ceramic resonator in place of that and seeing if I have these on hand because I had the 0.47s that I used over here, but I didn't have enough for all of these. And then remember, there's like three of them in here. so. I don't know that I have them on hand. I may not. Um, I will check. I know for a fact I have the 100. And there's another one in here too. The let's see, 4.7. Yeah. Well, I got all the 4.7s. I don't think I have a 0.47 though. Yeah, I have a 4.7. I have a 100, but I don't have these three 0.47s. So. I gotta look in my stash. I may or may not have them. Got the first cap pulled out and I'm looking at the board and you can tell right there. See it crusty? It's starting to leak. So those caps have gotta go too. So anybody recapping a Macintosh Color Classic, or not a Color Classic, shit. Macintosh TV, this is a public service announcement. Don't forget these. All right, I got all the caps replaced in there, and a couple of them were leaking. The rest of them were all right, so but I changed them all anyways. And now it's time to put the tuner back together, and I got the uh, ceramic resonator in place and test it. Let's hope that it works. Got the tuner module installed now, so um, all you got to do really for this is just plug it in, and then there's a little twist off where it comes through the board right there so you literally just twist it so it doesn't come out and that's it that's all there is to it so now it's time to test it but before we do we have to uh, get the hard drive replaced because yeah anyways so we're gonna get that back in here and I'm gonna get another hard drive in here and we're gonna reinstall the operating system and you know all that fun stuff otherwise yeah we should be able to test this tuner and Hopefully, it works. As we saw in our previous installment, we do not have a hard drive to put in here, so we had to boot this thing off of a jazz drive. So in order to test, to get this thing put back together and test the tuner properly, what we need to do is we need to install a new hard drive. So I picked up a few of these on eBay since uh, the blue SCSI and all that doesn't fit this form factor. I can't get it in there. So what I need to do is use an actual hard drive. So I picked some of these up because these are the most reliable of the drives. So I'm going to put that guy in here and we're going to get that reinstalled. And then when I set the operating system up on the jazz drive, I'm just going to copy all those files over and hopefully that solves our problem. All right. Now that we have the hard drive installed I got the jazz drive hooked up from our previous installments from where we started this thing up before so um, it decided not to recognize my RAM anymore so there's only four megabytes on board but whatever so we'll go in here and let's see hopefully it sees the drive and it looks like it did so we're going to initialize the drive 
All right, we'll be back as soon as this gets done. Now we've moved into the verifying format stage, so only a few short minutes and then that'll be done. Sorry for the flicker, I don't know how to fix it in the phone. Oh, I hope it didn't freeze. Oh, the little wheel quit turning. Let's see. Oh. I think it's click of deathing. Uh-oh, I think the hard drive just took a dump. Yeah, hard drive may have taken a dump in the middle of a format. Oh, man. So the ones I bought were bad. Well, that sucks. I guess I'll have to grab another one. This is becoming all too common. And none of the SCSI solutions work for this particular machine because of how this thing is set up. All right, so I ended up needing to use a different hard disk formatting utility and then I used Norton Utilities to do a surface scan and the very end of the, the disk there's this, there's a handful of bad sectors so the drive is on its way out but as far as I can tell it still works so I think we're just gonna leave it up to that for right now so What I want to do now is I need to install the system update. So, yeah, I'm doing this all over again because the Jazz Drive decided to corrupt itself and cause fun problems. But, you know, that's just how this old shit goes sometimes. So, let's go ahead and do an install of the system update and then we're going to reboot. So, we'll be right back after this is done, hopefully. And then we can test the actual tuner. It failed to install, but who cares at this point? We're running um, version 7.1. So I think, let's see, I don't remember how to get into the um, TV. So let's figure all that out. Let's see. Channel, hotkey, what's the kit key? Command tab. So channel setup. Oh, uh, now, um, so let's see, how do you test a tuner in 2022? Well, we use a pair of rabbit ears, of course. Why not? That's how we test a tuner in 2022. So let's do an auto program. It's not really to save finding anything. Tuner might not be any good. All right, so channel five should be my channel. So, what is it, command tab? All right, well, I got to get something, but. So, we don't know if we got digital information or what we got going on. No, it doesn't look like it's gonna work, so. Anyways, no, I wasn't being sarcastic. Over there, I'm transmitting a signal, so uh, I'll talk about that another day. But So there should be a signal coming in over there to these rabbit ears, but unfortunately, it looks like we have a problem with the channel. Let's see, channel 6, enable, enable. Let's see, let's turn that on. Nope. See, it's trying to do something. Channel 5. Nope. 4. 5. It's trying. Well, let me, uh, I should be sending a, I should be transmitting a TV signal on five. So let me verify that's actually happening. 
and we'll be back. Yeah, there's an internal fault with the tuner because I removed the rabbit ears and put this little stubby antenna on and it's not really doing much. Um, yeah, channel five, six, seven, yeah. It's, something's wrong with the tuner still. So yeah, I recapped it, but there's still a physical issue inside the tuner. And I know my signal transmission is good because I'm transmitting it. I got I put the rabbit ears back behind the TV and screwed it in and it works. So I know for a fact that the tuner is bad still. So I recapped it, still bad. We're gonna have to do some troubleshooting and figure out if we can fix it or not. Because like I said, this thing was missing parts when I got it. So who knows? So I'm going over this tuner module because the lines in the screen was definitely coming from this. This is still not right. So um, this is a Phillips tuner and the 147 family is in a data sheet. So um, yeah, I, I did some quick research and sure enough that this pin here is the AGC which is going over to this resistor network, which is going to that cap. And guess what I forgot to do? I forgot to run that patch wire where that pad lifted off the board and over to this side. So let me do that and then we're gonna try it again. I'm not expecting a whole lot, but I went ahead and got the patch wire pasted on here and soldered on and you can see where the trace actually broke off, so. I'm hoping that fixes the problem. No way to know for certain, but there's only one way to find out. Because this cap couples into this board here. I'm not sure what this board does. I don't know if this is all part of the AGC or what, but now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back in and hopefully it works. All right, well, let's see what happens. I got the antenna just kind of randomly hanging on there, so I don't expect much, but uh, let's see. Let's see what, oh, there we go. There, now we got something. I have no audio though. I can tell. Wow, it's working. Let me go grab a pair of better rabbit ears. I literally just have a antenna hanging off the back, but that's good news. We're doing a lot better than what we were before. I had no sound, but I could troubleshoot that at a later date. There's something else going on there, but that's not a big deal. Hey, it works now. Yay. So I suppose we can move on and try to figure out signal clarity and the sound. So let's figure that out. There we go. That's better. Just move the antennas around. See? So there we go. It's working now, working properly. Um, I have no sound at the moment, and that's because of the, the weather star that's connected to this. That's a whole other story for another day and another video, but um, yeah, it's working now. Um, over the air, rabbit ears in 2022. See, I'm just holding the antennas. So it's all good. It's all working now, finally, yay. All right, so now that we have the tuner issue fixed, and I got the rabbit ears in the floor for now, I got the tuner issue fixed, the hard drive's going good, so really, at this point, it's just a matter of putting it back together and shelving this project. Um, I think we're done at this point, so everything's good. Tuner's good, hard drive's good, we're all up and going again, so. Um, the sound issue, I figured it out, it was the um, Weatherstar XL is not producing audio because there's a motherboard issue, which anybody that's followed my channel has known that we were having problems with the motherboard. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's it for this restoration series. We're done here now. So I'm going to put the plastic piece back in on the back of the analog board and we're going to get the bucket put back on here and we're going to shell this. We're done with it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the series and uh thank you for watching and if you have a comment please feel free to leave one hit the like subscribe you know the drill and until next time guys see you soon